Now, for the first reward, I'm afraid I lost the footage because it was just, like, broken or something. Um, basically, each time you get a certain number of coins, or certain specific coins, you get another message and a reward. Uh, in this case, it said, do the gods see man's wisdom as his sin, or something along those lines. Um, and you got 16,000p for it, and I also lost the footage of the actual getting the reward here. But it just says, yeah, it gave you an idea for a new hairstyle, you can now use the retro style, hooray for you! Um, so yeah, basically the first, like, six or so, um, rewards are just the ones which give you coins, uh, except for the last one of them, which gives you a special new tank thing. Um, so I think getting the coins is a good idea for if you need to reopen the Cavern of the Gods, provided you don't need any of the coins from the Cavern of the Gods. Um, there are seven in the Cavern of the Gods, I believe, but you can get four of them on your first time round if you look for them. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think we're coming up close to... no, I think there's actually a few more le yet. Uh, so yeah, just on the screen you can see which uh, section of the quest it is. You can see which coins you need for it and you can see what the reward is. Um, so that's pretty cool, I would say. And if you don't, then that's fine by me. Uh, so here's the first of the special ones. Um, so you need to go to the Cavern of the Sun, which is in the Zahab region and contains the Zebra Shark. Uh, the entrance is at F4 in the northwest, I believe, if I was to be asked. And you were to say, hey, Skulker 3, would you mind telling me exactly where the Cavern of the Sun is? I would say, F4 to the northwest, you know what I mean? And you'd say, no. And I'd say, neither do I. I don't think it was really meant to be innuendo or anything. And you'd say, I see. And then back away slowly. And then I'd just sort of sit there talking to myself. As I do every day. Hooray for me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you go over to this dead turtle, you get the turtle shell. Uh, which is a new diving tank, making Partario a ninja turtle. Not so much teenage or mutant, but you know. Um, so now we're getting on to the first legendary creature that you get, um, which is the Anomalocaris. Uh, now Gigi's going to ask to go with you, and I would read it out, but turns out I skipped through it too quickly for me to read out. So you're just going to have to make do without, but you know, I'm sure you can imagine it or just read it yourself. I'm guessing very few of my viewers will be illiterate here. Um, so go to Valka Castle, and you'll see something weird going past the window. It went by a bit too fast to see it, clearly. But maybe we'll see it another time. Like in the encyclopedia! Yes, I'm going to show it to you at the end. Well, at the end of this section, anyways. Uh, so you also find dragon bones, which are a... or which is... Hmm. Dragon Bones is plural, but it is a BCD, whatever a BCD is. Um, so, yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty creepy, but, you know, if you if you like that, that's quite cool. And there's the Anomalocaris. Pretty funky looking. Now I know what Anorith is meant to look like in Pokemon. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, here's the information on it, if you'd like to read it. Um... So, I know that people have been wanting to see these special legendaries for quite a while, especially since the last video where I accidentally showed the other one, um, which is going to come up after you, after I've shown you all this information here. Um, so that's pretty cool. And now we're going on to the Camarosaras, or Camerokeras, or something. Uh, those ones are arguably the ones you need the most coins for, and you can only finish them once you've reopened the Cavern of the Gods, I think. Well, no, you can get the Camarokeras, Camarosaras, whatever, um, beforehand, because you can actually find the Leo coin early. I think you need the Leo coin for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it's 12 constellations, so. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, once you've done that, Ocean will talk to you and say, Oh, end of the end of the Crimson Waters, what could that mean? Red Sea, perhaps? Yes, I think so. So, now... We get in. We get really something that really quite frightened me the first time, because when I first saw like a picture of the Camarosaurus, Camarosaurus, I'm always going to say it twice. Um, I thought it would be a tiny little thing, but no, it's massive. <laughs> um, yeah, very very big right there. Um, it's scaring away the killer whales. Ocean thinks she's gone mad, and we get a title for some unexplained reason. Um, so now, 
yeah, you can see it again with its weird, weird stuff. Um, I'm also going to show you it in the marine guide, as you can see. It's really weird looking. Um, just, just uh. um, and so yeah, now there's only one more reward sort of thing that I've got to show you, and I forget to show you. Um, but the next thing after this is just what you get after you found every single coin. Um, I don't know why I was checking the map here. I wanted to see if it showed up because it all it's always beyond the boundary, so you can't ever like look at it or anything. Um, but you know, it's still cool. Um, why are there so many prehistoric creatures in this game? I don't know. Maybe they actually wanted to make a dinosaur game, but they weren't allowed to. Uh, so yes, here is the very end of the coins uh, of the Voice of the Night Sky quest, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and so after this, I'm going to give you, or I'm going to show you a summary of all the items you get throughout this quest. Look at that, 184,000 Pelagos. That's that's a good amount. Uh, okay, I'm going to end this now because the video's ended. And yeah, so um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the weird creatures, and join me next time for more crazy adventures. Maybe, unless not, I shall see. Bye.